So this is not new news, but it is news. Everybody already knows to anybody who's even paying attention. Final Fantasy 15 has been delayed till November 29th. Uh, I'm kind of kind of annoyed about it because we're getting Deus Ex here in a couple days, but for us here on the channel, that was when the gaming season was really kicking off. Yeah. Is with the Final Fantasy 15 release, and now it's getting pushed back. Now there's this huge gap where we get Deus Ex, and then we gotta wait for Mafia 3. And yeah, and Mafia 3. And then once Mafia 3 comes out, then it kicks off again, because then we get Mafia 3. Uh, we're looking at Civilization release, we're looking at Battlefield 1, and then we'll get Final Fantasy, and then, or probably Watch Dogs 2 before then. Bunch Last of shit, bun yeah, a bunch of shit coming out all at once. And so that's good, but. Th like Lee said, there's going to be this month gap. But we want to talk about the delay and in the movie release. And these two kind of uh, working together to build this. Well, that's the thing. To is build like this I've brand. <laughs> I just, that's what, it's one of the few times where I, I remember that Square Enix is a company. You know, like I've seen the articles where they have somebody that comes out and tells you why they have another delay or whatever. And they say the same rhetoric, rhetoric that we've heard over and over again where it's like, you know, we need to polish it up a little bit and, uh, and you know, we need to make things smoother. We need to make a good game so that when you guys get it, honestly, I hear it and I'm like, that's a lie. That's a lie. You guys had a solid release date. And now you, you had a whole event yeah. for this release date. And you guys were on track and it was so close. And now that there's another delay, it makes me think that it wasn't about – the game itself and, and it was about all the other cogs in the machine. You know what and, I mean? And, and so September 7th, they're, uh, Sony is having an, an event. Uh, what I, I believe, and I, and I might be wrong, uh, but what I believe is that Final Fantasy XV, uh, its delay, has something to do with the PlayStation Neo. I know they have VR mechanics that work within Final Fantasy 15. Shit. For all we know, uh, their game itself might really hinder on the Neo's release. Uh, maybe n I'd probably I won't completely rely on it, but I think they have features that they need the Neo for. They've been hazy about that too because they've talked about the VR release and saying you can play it on the you know vanilla console and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's like. Uh, Right, and know. and I and I don't think you're really going to be able to play VR, you know, PlayStation Morpheus, without the PlayStation Neo. I don't think they're going to be able to do it on the vanilla PS4. I don't think it has the hardware, you know, uh, for the Oculus and the Vive to run. You, I mean, you don't need a beast PC, but you definitely need something better than a PS4. And I can't imagine Morpheus being any different. One of the things that seemed to be um, a general consensus across VR headsets is they have to meet something like 90 frames a second in order for it to to be smooth and to feel nice. I don't <laughs> – 90 frames a second? Dude, <laughs> PS3 can't even do 60 frames a second on most games, yeah. let alone 90. You know what I mean? They need better hardware for it, and I just don't think they have it. And I think with Final Fantasy 15 having uh, – VR components to it instead of releasing a game where not everything's ready or playable all at once, I think they're waiting for that release. And I think they know when that release is. Yeah. And I think that's why it got pushed back to November. Maybe maybe not even specifically that, but it's just like, I believe that th these are the kind of things that are they're thinking about and these are the kind of things that are keeping us from playing the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, it bums us out, but it, I, I'm, it's two months. I've been waiting eight years. <laughs> you I know, right? you know, what's, what's two more months? And there's plenty of other games to play. It just bums us out because our bodies are fucking ready. Square Enix, if you ever listen to this, if you ever, if you're sitting in your fucking office going down some YouTube hole and you find our little corner of the world and you happen to watch this video, I'm telling you right now, my fucking body is ready. And I want you to know that. And I want you to stop re delaying the release and just give it to my body and just let me fucking take it in. Plus, I just want to be like some ounce you have to like 
like hold some kind of apology. Like I want to be like you owe us. Yeah. You owe us. Yeah. I it's, played it's, twelve. I played thirteen. We you played owe for, us. Yes. After thirteen and that debacle, and we haven't seen a Final Fantasy since, and we watch fifteen go through like three different iterations of what it's supposed to be. You fucking owe us. <laughs> I'm gonna buy that shit, and I want it to be good. I'm going to go see the fucking movie. I, you know, Normally, I will blow this shit off. And this is where the movie comes into the conversation. Yeah. Normally, I would blow all this nonsense off and yeah. just say, just give me the game. I don't care about your comic yeah. books, your movie, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about any of that. But because it's Final Fantasy and because we're so excited about this, that me and you are actually eating this hype train shit up. Yeah. We're going to go see the movie, probably check out the comics. Well, like, I'm diving headfirst into this shit. Yeah, the anime. Yeah. Yeah, I'm diving headfirst into this whole universe. I'll I'll eat it up, but God damn it, I swear to God, Square Enix, I swear to God. Don't you hurt me again? Don't if you hurt us, <laughs> if you put w- if you hurt one hair on our fucking head about this, we're coming for you. Heroes don't need plans. <laughs> I swear to God, if you put a snow in Final Fantasy 15, I'm coming for you. I'm quitting my job. We're quitting this channel. This My channel's sole th- purpose in life will be this, to hunt down. This all channel of your is going to change from what it is now into a documentary that me and Lee film, hunting down executives <laughs> at Square Enix because they fucked up Final Fantasy 15, and we will film all that shit. We will put out ransom videos. <laughs> it's dark. I know. We're not gonna do the ransom videos, Plus but I everything else we might do. Plus don't fuck us. Don't, don't fuck with us. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. They got Tetsuya and Nomura behind it, stuff like that. I mean, the, the game looks awesome. Stuff. The story looks cool. I'm I'm excited. I like the dynamic between his son and his father. That's yeah. kind of a cool thing they've never really tackled in that way. I love the dynamic between the friends too. Like you yeah. see, you see their car broken down on the side of the road and shit like that. Yeah, and. You know, well, it was weird because uh, when they started releasing those videos with the four characters riding around in the car and stuff like that, and they actually started first showing gameplay, a lot of people uh, really didn't like that idea. They're like, man, it looks like the hangover or something. This better not be like <laughs> fucking bunch of bros and shit. Dude, the thing around. is, is like, I've thought of that kind of stuff before when I was playing the old school RPGs of Final Fantasy and they you could sleep in the tent out in the wilderness and stuff like that. Like, I would have loved to have shown like the conversations you they know, had and like the dynamics yeah, yeah. they you shared. Know, you know what? They spent a lot of time you together. Know, you know what it is? Uh, for me, the games that I love the most, the memories that I have with them, the moments that I have with those games, nine out of ten times revolve around friendship. Yeah. That is my that is my number one. Like I don't I have such a soft spot for that stuff. When Final Fantasy VI, when you're in the end of the game and the whole shit's come crumbling down, the one scene that touched me the most is when I had to watch Shadow leave his dog behind. Yeah. That dude didn't give a fuck about anybody. That guy would join your party and leave whenever the fuck he wanted. The one common denominator that was always with him was that fucking dog yeah. and you watched him have to leave that dog behind and chrono trigger when fucking chrono died and all your friends got together to go save chrono they went to the end of time and did th- did the impossible to resurrect chrono cuz they had to have chrono back yeah. he was he was their leader he they had to have chrono that was it you know what i mean when i see shit like that dude you know when Final Fantasy VII, when Ares died, that was one of the most major plot points <laughs> in the entire fucking Seriously. story. Because I remember you got to you got to play with Sephiroth earlier on when they were doing the flashbacks and stuff, and you got to see uh, like some of the higher level spells and stuff. And my first reaction was like, "Oh, I want to be just like Sephiroth. I want to be just as strong as him." And then as soon as Ares died, I was like, "Oh, now I want to be stronger than Sephiroth." Yeah. That motherfucker has to die. I don't care what game it is. I don't care if it's Dissidia. I don't care if it's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> that motherfucker will die every time, yeah. dude. Yeah. Until he gives me Ares back, that motherfucker will die yeah. every time. And, and, it's, and so for me, friendship is always is always a very uh, soulful subject. You know what I mean? That's such a deep concept in so many ways. And so when I see a game where a, a cornerstone of it is about friendship... Dude, I'm all on board. Yeah. I'm all on board. So when people are walking around saying they hate to see that shit, I'm like, dude, what the what the fuck are you playing Final Fantasy for? Did you play the other ones? I know. Those games are all about the person. What mattered to the most in all those games was about the personal relationships they had with each other. Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, they all revolved around that. That's what made those games great, you fucking retard. Lee, never go full retard. <laughs> <laughs> never go full retard. You never go full retard. Horse Gump played ping pong. That ain't retarded. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for our little Final Fantasy 15 rant. Like, subscribe if you don't mind, please, or tell us we're pieces of shit. And we should, we don't have friends, and so we don't know what it's like. Um, other than that, we're out. Thank <laughs> you.